fellow Anami lovers, in today's video we're counting down the top Anami, where main character is hated by everyone, but finds true love. If you are new to this channel feel free to hit that subscribe button for more Anami content like this. So without further ado, let's get started. Dreaming of changing the world for good, Akuto Sai transfers to Constant Magic Academy, where he befriends a virtuous ninja clan member, Junko Hattori. On the way to the academy, they vow to make the world a better place together. However, the situation suddenly takes a turn for the worse upon his arrival, it is prophesied that he will become the Demon King. As word of his destiny spreads, the school begins to fear him, and Junko's trust in him falters. While Akuto is determined to not let his predicted future control his fate, it seems as though everything he says and does only serve to reinforce the fact that he is destined to be the Demon King. Moreover, he is surrounded by a harem of beautiful girls who each have their own plans for him, ranging from bringing him to justice to simply showering him with love. With his newly awakened powers, Akuto must cope with his constantly growing list of misfortune and fight to prove that his fate is not set in stone. The private Aichi Symbiosis Academy was originally a high school for high-class girls. When it became co-ed, the girls, out of fear, asked to be permitted to bring weapons to school. When that was enforced, a five-member vigilante corps-like organization called the Supreme Five Swords was also formed. After many generations, the Five Swords eventually became a group which corrected problematic students, and the Academy started proactively accepting such students in order to correct them. Nomura Fuyu was sent to this school after being part of a huge brawl. What will he do when the only options he has after enrolling are being expelled from that school or being corrected the way the rest of the male students there were by being forced to dress and act like a girl? You're making me strong. There exist few humans in this world with the ability to manipulate their souls to form powerful weapons. Dubbed Blazers, these people study and train at the prestigious Hagen Academy to become mage knights. Among the students is so-called Failure Ikikurigane, the soul F-rated Blazer. However, when the worst student in the academy sees Stella Vermillion, an A-ranked Blazer who also happens to be a princess, naked, she challenges him to a duel with dire stakes, the loser becomes the slave of the winner. There's no possible way that Stella can lose, right? Rakid Ikishi no Cavalry follows the story of Iki as he tries to prove his strength to a world that believes him to be the weakest, all the while gaining new friends, wisdom, and experience. You Yado Yokodera wants to be seen in a way different from most men, as a pervert. However, his lewd actions are often misinterpreted as good intentions, and people cannot see his true nature. Upon hearing rumors of a cat statue that can banish an unwanted trait, he searches for it and prays for his facade to be removed. But each wish comes at a price. Those unwelcome traits are transferred to someone else who desires them. After realizing that vocalizing his dirty thoughts is not the best thing, Yaudo decides to regain his lost traits by seeking out the person who received them. Unfortunately, he was not alone in praying to the cat statue, and now he must not only fix his life, but the lives of others as well. Shizuku Mizutani is apathetic towards her classmates, only caring about her grades. However, her cold view of life begins to change when she meets Haru Yoshida, a violent troublemaker who stopped attending class after getting into a fight early in the school year. He is not much different from her, though he too understands little about human nature and does not have any friends. Much to Shizuku's surprise, he proclaims that she will be his friend and immediately confesses his feelings towards her upon meeting her. Because of her lack of friends and social interaction, Shizuku has a hard time understanding her relationship with Haru. But slowly, their friendship begins to progress, and she discovers that there is more to Haru than violence. She begins to develop feelings for him, but is unsure what kind of emotions she is experiencing. Together, Shizuku and Haru explore the true nature of their relationship and emotions. For Hikari Tsutsui, life within the two-dimensional realm is much simpler. Socially inept and awkward, he immerses himself in video games and anime, only to be relentlessly ridiculed and ostracized by his classmates. Sharing his misery is Yudo Aitu, his only friend, who wears cat ears and is equally obsessed with the world of games. 
After being forced to clean the pool as punishment for arriving late, Satsui meets Orohe Igarashi, but he attempts to steer clear of her as her notoriety precedes her. Brazenly blunt, loathed by female classmates, and infamous for messing around with boys, Satsui believes that getting involved with her would cause nothing but problems. 3D Kanoho, Real Girl is a story revolving around these two outcasts, a boy full of emotions he has never experienced before, struggling to lay them bare, and a girl who strives to break him out of his shell. Ryuji Takasu is a gentle high school student with a love for housework, but in contrast to his kind nature, he has an intimidating face that often gets him labeled as a delinquent. On the other hand is Taiga Osaka, a small, doll-like student, who is anything but a cute and fragile girl. Equipped with a wooden katana and feisty personality, Taiga is known throughout the school as the Palm Top Tiger. One day, an embarrassing mistake causes the two students to cross paths. Ryuji discovers that Taiga actually has a sweet side, she has a crush on the popular vice president, Yuisaku Kitamura, who happens to be his best friend. But things only get crazier when Ryuji reveals that he has a crush on Minori Kashiida, Taiga's best friend. Toradora is a romantic comedy that follows this odd duo as they embark on a quest to help each other with their respective crushes, forming an unlikely alliance in the process. When Ryu Yamada entered high school, he wanted to turn over a new leaf and lead a productive school life. That's why he chose to attend Suzaku High, where no one would know of his violent delinquent reputation. However, much to Ryu's dismay, he is soon bored. Now a second year, Ryu has reverted to his old ways, lazy with abysmal grades and always getting into fights. One day, back from yet another office visit, Ryu encounters Yurara Shireishi, a beautiful honors student. A misstep causes them both to tumble down the stairs, ending in an accidental kiss. The pair discover they can switch bodies with a kiss, an ability which will prove to be both convenient and troublesome. Learning of their new power, Tyrannosuke Miyamura, a student council officer and the single member of the Supernatural Studies Club, recruits them for the club. Soon joined by Miyabi Aitu, an eccentric interested in all things supernatural, the group unearths the legend of the seven witches of Suzaku High, seven female students who have obtained different powers activated by a kiss. The Supernatural Studies Club embarks on its first quest to find the identities of all the witches. When Kadaka Hasegawa finds out that he will be transferring to a new school, he is determined to make a positive impression and maybe even some friends. However, Kadaka discovers he is out of luck when he immediately gets labeled as a violent delinquent due to his blonde hair and intimidating expression. Although a month has passed, Kadaka is still alone thanks to his notorious reputation. However, his life begins to change when he finds fellow loner Yuzora Mikazuki talking to her imaginary friend in an empty classroom. After sharing stories of their lonely high school life, Kadaka and Yuzara decide to overcome the difficulties of making friends together by starting the Neighbors Club. Created for people who don't have friends, daily activities involve learning social skills and how to fit in, which will hopefully allow them to make friends. Joined by the arid loving Sinika Shiwazaki and other eccentric outcasts, Kadaka may finally have managed to find people he can call friends in this club filled with hilarious oddballs. So I could feel something else. Yeah. Resolved to become a more independent person, Yukino Yukinishida decides to smoothen things out with her parents, and the first step toward achieving that goal is to prove herself. As graduation draws closer for the third year students, Aroha Asiki, the president of the student council, requests a graduation prom in collaboration with the Volunteer Service Club. Yukino accepts this request of her own volition, hoping to use it as a chance to demonstrate her self reliance, but what lies ahead of her may prove to be a hard hurdle to cross. Yuhari Orno Saishin Love Comedy Wa Machigateru. Kansas revolves around the graduation prom as emotions are poured into the preparations for the event. At the same time, a chance for the volunteer service club members to better understand each other presents itself. And thus, Hachiman Hikigaya's hectic and bittersweet high school life begins to draw to a close. <laughs>